Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, let's talk about the iPhone system data or others data. Now, if I just quickly open up my iPhone storage, y'all can see I have a really huge space has been taken from my system data, which is about 25.37 on my iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is kind of massive. If you're using any other iPhone like iPhone 13, iPhone 12, iPhone 11, or any other iPhone, and if you also found your system data is taking a lot of space, then you want to consider watching this video to find out the four different ways to just reduce down your gigabyte. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Now the very first thing that I'll go ahead and tell you guys to check is your some of the files that your iPhone might have taken in that system data. So all you want to do is simply head over to your photos application here. Now if you come over to album, if you scroll down here, you can see it says recently deleted. Now remember, all those files, all those pictures and videos that you're going to restore in a recently deleted folder is going to stay in the system data. So all I recommend you to do here, simply tap select here and tap delete all Simply tap delete here, then what's going to happen, all this file is going to be deleted and your system data is going to be reduced. In a second way, I'll tell you to do one more thing. In a second way, all you need to do is just head over to your iMessages application and here check out all this conversation that you had before. Remember, all the pictures and all the videos that you receive or send from your iPhone will be stored in your system data. And depending on what videos and pictures you don't need, you can simply delete those files directly from here to get free storage from your system data as well. Now, the next thing that you want to do, you want to open up your settings on your iPhone. You want to scroll down here and open up your Safari browser. Just tap on there. You want to scroll all the way down to advanced. Just go ahead and tap on advanced here and tap website data. Now, if you have a lot of data stored on your website data directly from your Safari browser, this data also include in your system data. So all you want to do is just tap at it and just choose those data that you don't need. So you can just remove one by one from here and tap done. Well, quickly after removing all those data from here, you want to get back here and now you want to just tap on this called Clear History and Website Data. Now just go ahead and tap on Clear History and Website Data. After that, just go ahead and take a look at your system data and check whether your data has been freed up or not. All right, so in the fourth way, all you want to do here, you want to simply remove your beta profile. Remember, your beta profile, a megabyte or gigabyte, will be stored in your system data. Now to delete that, you want to open up your settings on your iPhone, scroll down to general, you want to scroll down again and simply choose VPN and device management. Under this downloaded profile, you will see your beta profile. Simply tap on there, tap remove downloaded profile and your profile is going to be deleted. Your data is going to be reduced from your system data. All right, guys, so after following all the process, if I open up my settings and come to my iPhone storage, now you guys can see my system data has been reduced down to 6.34 gigabyte from 25.37 GB, which is kind of really massive. And if you still have the problem and your system data has taken a lot of storage, then lastly, you need to do one little thing that you have to actually give it a factor reason. It's the only process that you guys can do to just remove everything from your system data. But remember, doing this process will delete everything from your iPhone. Now, if you agree to the terms and conditions, then you can simply follow that process. All right, guys, so that's the way that you guys can follow to just have some free storage or remove some of these junk files from your system data. I hope you find this video useful. If you think so, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.